Just before 5.30 Tuesday night, Broward Sheriff Fire Rescue Port Everglades units along with our hazardous materials team and technical rescue team uh, and Port Everglades units, as I said, responded to uh, a spur rail line in Port Everglades uh, where there was a nine car train derailment. Uh, the cars remained upright. There were no injuries. There's no threat or contamination or any leakage of any chemicals. Uh, there was only an initial evacuation of some industrial warehouse facilities and a petroleum facility in the immediate area. Uh, once uh, everything was assessed and determined that everything was stabilized, there was no product leaking. Uh, Broward Sheriff Fire Rescue along with the Broward Sheriff's Office, Port Everglades, FEC, and uh, various other federal partners um, that are on scene that uh, will be conducting an investigation uh, and uh, determination by FEC as to how they're going to uh, get these cars onto what they call a good section of rail. These cars carry uh, denatured ethanol. Uh, ethanol, alcohol, that's part of what goes into uh, fuel in your gas tank. About 10% of your fuel is made up of ethanol. Uh, so uh, while it is flammable, just like gas, there was no product leaking, uh, so that way there was no hazard. The quantity is uh, 20,000 gallons per tanker, and there were nine cars that derailed. In all, there were 20 cars on this train, 20 cars plus an engine. Uh, those 20, nine of them derailed, and none of them overturned. The remaining uh, cars were on the rail and intact.